What's up spectrum lovers, today we're going to learn how to make a perfect rainbow in Adobe Illustrator. We're going to do this in minimal steps, all technique, easy to follow. So I'm just going to name this rainbow, width and the height are 1000 pixels, you can change your units here, and I'm going to stick with RGB as my color mode. Okay, first thing that I want to do is I just want to take away this white fill, I'm just going to click none here, so we just have a black stroke. Alright, now I just want to uh, pretty much draw a bunch of cons uh, concentric rings uh, in the artboard and cut off the bottoms of the circle. So you could just draw a circle if you want, it would still work, but uh, I'm just going to click and type 100 by 100. And uh, make sure you're unconstrained here so your math doesn't update. And yeah, so now I know this uh, is a perfect circle, 100 by 100. And I just want to center that. Make sure you're aligned to artboard. And click the horizontal and vertical centers. Okay, so this is what we want to see. So now um, I just want to create um, some concentric rings that have 10 pixels of distance between them. Um, you could do that with the scale. And just type in 110. Just make a copy. And just duplicate that a bunch of times. But what's going to happen is it's just going to do 10% every time. So this ring is much bigger than that ring. So I don't want that. I want equal distance between all of them. So the way that I'm going to do that is go to Object, Path, and Offset Path. And I'm just going to type 10 pixels and do it like that. Um, unfortunately, you can't duplicate um, the, uh, the effect. So you just have to keep going to Path and offset path so it's a bit more uh, painstaking but as you can see the uh, the circles are equal distance from each other um, which is uh, what we want it's going to give us a lot cleaner look and yeah we don't have to do a bunch of like scale math um, to keep it all consistent so what we want is seven one two three four five six seven perfect so what we're going to do now is we just want to cut all of the bottoms off of this. So if you if you look at if you look at uh, the selection here, you see these two white squares. Um, these are the anchor points that we want to cut. So using the scissors tool here, you can also just hit C on your keyboard. I'm just going to go through all of these and just cut at those. Uh, center points and then you can just delete them off after um but yeah you know this part's uh this is the boring part um and you know there there are maybe some quicker ways to do this but this way is pretty quick and i said it's in minimal steps and i do i do think that that is true so you know maybe should have written more jokes here you know could have written something about scissors or cutting, but I figured that gets into a dicey territory pretty quickly. So I'm just going to do my job, and I'm just going to cut these circles. No other meaning. And great, that's it. Um, from here, I'm going to just beef these up a little bit. And yeah, uh, now we can start picking our colors. Uh, for anyone that doesn't know, uh, the spectrum... It's not Roy Biv, it's Roy G Biv. There we go. Um, doubt I'm teaching anyone anything, but this is just the uh, the spectrum order um, into an abbreviation or an acronym rather. Um, so yeah, um, and this does go top to bottom. So top is going to be R, which is red. Second is O for orange. The Y is yellow. The G here is green. Then we go blue. I like to pick this one. Indigo. Um, I'm going to pick the CMYK blue. But it's uh, just kind of a purpley blue. And then we're just going to go full on violet. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. And that's our Roy G. Biv. And that's uh, pretty much it. From here you can uh, you know make some adjustments. I like to do the round joins. But if you just wanted... Um, just like a solid rainbow, you can just beef up the uh, the strokes until they start overlapping. Uh, Ten pixels would do it. Um, I like to leave a little bit of space, and I like the round join. 
Um, so yeah, I think that looks uh looks pretty cute. Um, yeah, you can uh, do other stuff with this. You know, make other logos that you know of. Um, I think this one. I think this one's pretty much correct. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's a. Uh, that's all I'm gonna do today. Um, it's just a simple trick, uh, mostly just to show you some techniques in Illustrator and how to, um, yeah, make some cool stuff that's uh, perfectly symmetrical without doing a lot of drawing. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, happy Pride Month. Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Make make some art. Thanks. Bye.